What's up guys? Welcome back to another venture on the bite. Well, we're down here in South Florida on the hunt for a trophy snook. Trophy class is, you know, 40 inch. Honestly, a 30 inch fish would be a trophy class where I'm from. Um, basically here in South Florida, they treat snook like we do steelhead in the Northwest. You know, we're all on the hunt for that 40 inch steelhead, but here they're all on the hunt for that 40 inch snook. So that's the trophy class. That's what we're after. So we're on day three right now. I just got to the spillway. They say if you want a good chance at a big fish in South Florida, you got to hit the spillway. The last two days we went and checked out the river. We went and checked out the intercoastal area. I don't know. I got a lot of stuff to pull out, get ready to go. Why don't you guys check out that footage and we'll get back to the spillway. Yeah, dude, I planned my vacation like six months ago. The week before I get here, it's like 34. I'm like, no. Oh, did you see that, bro? He just, he just knit me. Yeah, buddy. Michael's on. Nice. Nice, little Jack. All right, I hope you guys, hope you guys like that footage. Man, it's been a blast so far. We just haven't put the monster that we're after on the bank. I've heard that a moving spillway is really, really the jam. Like if the gates are open and the flow is going really good, that's when you really want to hit it. But, you know, sometimes you don't get that shot. I got some live bait I'm going to be throwing in today. You know, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the spillway gangsters, they talk about not spending your money on bait because there's bait everywhere, but, Honestly, I went and grabbed a couple dozen just to play with. And then uh, once those run out, we're gonna get our bait rod out and try to catch some of our own cichlids and bluegill and whatever else. So let's try to hook a monster snook. Fishing new water, you always have huge expectations of what could be lurking beneath. Especially when you've seen pictures and videos of monster fish caught on the same rocks you're standing on. Right away, I began putting on a clinic of teeny, tiny fish. Little chunky guy. Look how chunky this guy is. Nice. Oh, and he just shook himself off. So that wasn't the, uh, that wasn't the trophy stick. Oh. On again. Come on. I don't know what that was. It wasn't the trophy that we're after, but still awesome to, you know, learn what you learn, bring it to the hole, utilize it, and it works. Not the big dog, but better than that last one. You can imagine how hard the big one's gonna fight if these things put up the fight that they put up. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Fish on. Another one of you. Look at the teeth on that guy. Oh, there we go. That's bigger than that last one. Oh! Came off. I think the bigger baits, the bigger baits are gonna catch the bigger fish, right? But like I said, they're opportunistic, so they're probably gonna eat the small baits too if it gets near them. But the chances of a bigger fish grabbing a smaller bait rather than just a small fish running up and grabbing that small bait, um, I think is, you know, I think if we get a bait that none of these fish that we're catching can get, then uh, we'll get the big one if we hook up. There's a fish. This bigger than the first snook. Another snook. Just a little guy. 
A little tiny baby one. There we go. Another small snook, I'm guessing. Yep. A little guy. We came here last night to see how the night bite was. And you aren't gonna believe what we saw right here where I'm standing. Holy f A Goliath grouper. Easily in the 200 pound range. Dude, I'm gonna go catch him. Unfortunately, we didn't catch anything to try and entice him for a fight. And he sank back into the depths. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. Definitely the biggest snook of the day, which is not huge, but that's what we're here to catch. Get that hook out. Nice. These fish are just, they're so cool looking. Look at the mouth on that thing. Shaped like a bass. A tarpon and a shark. All right, we're gonna get that him back in. Try to back this guy a little better. Oh, and he's gone. Well, guys, that was absolutely a blast. Snook fishing is so much fun, and I'm sure once I catch a monster, it's gonna be just triumphantly amazing. But for now. I just caught a couple smaller ones. You know, I think the biggest one was like maybe 18 inches. Um, I'm still after them. We're gonna find them. This is not the last day we're gonna fish for them. Yeah, probably just bump over to another spillway on another day. I'm gonna go get some food and uh, I think that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed that.